All right, guys, what's going on? This is going to be the last off-season war that I post this off-season. It's going to be for Loki versus E-Crew. And the reason that I'm posting this one is because um, the defensive tactic that they used was stubborn. So I know that a lot of people have been talking about this defense tactic, so I just wanted to show my fights. Um, bring in Nick Fury, Deadpool, and Doom. And the node here, uh, first node on path two, is going to be Strike Counter Fury. So basically you have a certain number of attacks you can do. And um, once you use up each of those attacks, um, the defender is going to start gaining Furies. And in addition to that, um, it also has Power Struggle. So I'm only going to get power when Symbiote Supreme has power. And I'm going to lose it when he loses his power. So, um, this is actually pretty good placement. Um, I don't... I'm boosting a little bit. We were told to take minimal item use, but we had to clear our lanes and take the fight semi-seriously. So I'm just showing these one more time. I'm going to check and see if he's um, affected by the global, and I don't believe he is. So I actually got into a pretty good rhythm with this fight. Um, at first I'm going to stall it out a little bit and try not to hit him too much. I'm just going to parry a few times while I wait for him to get his first bar of power so that he doesn't build up too many furies. But you can see I just used my second heavy attack. So now he's steadily gaining furies. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start using my special ones to power drain him. And it'll push him right below a bar of power and then you can see I basically get... Um, my bar of power right back again. So this was going pretty well. I'm taking recoil damage, but it's not a huge deal. And you'll see that something interesting happens though after one of my special ones. Um, with Doom, if you nullify a power gain buff, it's right here. So um, I guess he had power gain. I'm gonna get it for a split second and I have a stagger on me. And he nullified it, and I guess the nullify damage scaled with his furies. So I just took like 60% of my health from one stagger. So I didn't even realize it happened during the fight. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to move up here to the second fight. This is the same node. It's the strike counter fury. And it also has brute force and power focus one. So none of that's a huge deal. I'm going to use Doom again. I did heal him up a bit. Um, not all the way, though, because of the Nick Fury and Deadpool synergy. So, my plan here, you can see there, I triggered the Stubborn. So now I blocked the first two parts of his special one. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my special ones to nullify his buffs and to hopefully keep him from gaining too many furies. So here he is, he's gaining furies again because you use a lot of heavies with doom. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop this special three on him. Uh, doom special three gives a fury, so it's gonna do a ton of damage. And yeah, I'm just gonna rush in and hit him a couple times and that should be over. So, not a bad fight. Overall, I think there are some nodes with Stubborn that, um, and some defenders that make it a tough global, but overall, I, I still don't think it's going to be the global we're going to be seeing the most. And if it is, I would actually be um, pretty happy about that because it's, a, it's much, much, much easier to manage than flow. Here, um, I'm just taking a screenshot. Uh, of the node number. So this is going to be uh, Doc Ock and he's going to have EMP modification. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to take this fight. I'm going to use Doom again. And it's just a rank 1 6 star. And I actually don't remember off the top of my head. Let me see here. I don't remember off the top of my head if, if he is affected by, by Stubborn. But I guess we'll find out, so... This isn't uh, super concerning. I'm just going to try not to gain any buffs. Which isn't... You know, he's pretty... Um, 
Doc Ock is pretty, you know, like lenient with his specials. So here I just decided to throw a special two. I thought it would be enough to finish him, and it was. So, again, super easy fight. EMP modification can be a tricky node, but in this case, um, you know, it wasn't. So this is going to be another strike counter node, but this is going to be combat power um, power rate. So basically what's going to happen is that if I run out of my hits that I'm allowed to do, it's like, I think it's two heavies, four lights, or maybe four mediums and five lights. Um, I'm going to stop being able to gain power uh, gradually over time. So I'm just trying to stagger his power gains, that way I can make sure that I'm continuing to get power. Um, every time, again, with Dr. Doom that you nullify a power gain, um, or I think even stagger one, I think that you just end up with it yourself. And I believe that's his SIG ability. So with this, I'm. it's a little bit harder to do Doom's rotation because you are um, having to throw specials or you're not gaining power. But against Hyperion, since you're stealing his power gain, it makes it um, substantially easier. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this special 3. It'll do a ton of damage, plus I have class advantage. And it doesn't quite kill him, but a couple more hits should do it. Yep, just one more combo. So that fight is over, and I think I've only got one last fight. Um, and it's going to be Wasp, and it's going to be the strike counter, the combat rate again, and basically power sting. So anytime that I gain a bar of power, I'm going to have a power sting on me for five seconds. So basically, like, depending on who you're fighting here, if it's someone difficult, um, and in this case it wasn't, it's a rank four Wasp, um, you're going to have to slow play it quite a bit. So there I'm just going to bait out a heavy, I'm going to do a combo ending with a light attack so that I get that really big bleed. And let's see here. Going to bait out the special one. And again, I think it would be harder if she were affected by the global, but she's not. Another heavy attack, you can see now I'm not able to gain power, like I'm actually... Uh, losing a little bit of power, but she has such a low health pool that it didn't really matter. So um, anyway, I'm going to be posting my wars this season. Um, this map overall, now that they've changed things, does seem a lot easier than the old map. Um, stubborn, since it was nerfed, it does not seem as difficult as, um, as Flow or even Siphon. I think that... Um, you know, it's a, I don't want to say it's like, I, I would rather them do away with defense tactics altogether and just, you know, make the nodes harder. But if they're committed to sticking with defense tactics, um, it's one that I wouldn't be angry to see. So, um, yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the first war of the season here in a couple days. And, yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching.